some experiments with water. First is to mix water with oil. So, oil floats up and water settles down. Why is it so? Yes, there is a difference in between between their molecules. The molecules of oil are different than that of water. The molecules of water are more denser. Therefore, they remain down and oil floats up. Next, we have three bottles. One is not filled with water. Next is partially filled. And the last one is fully filled. The first one would float on water as it has air inside it. The, and we know that air is less dense than water. The next word, one would partially submerge as it has partial water only. Let's see it. Yes, because this area has water, this submerges. But this area does not have water, it has air, so it comes up. The next bottle would fully submerge as it contains of water inside it. Yes, here inside there is water and outside also we have water. Now, do you know about Red Sea? It is located in Europe. And when you go to Red Sea, you would float as, as because of the salinity. Now, because of salinity, you would float by the concept of density, densier and non-densier. And here, in every 1 liter of water, you have 300 grams of salt. Now, we will learn some ways to separate two things. First, we have sedimentation. For example, I have water. And inside the water, I have some stones. Now, these particles are evenly mixed. Then, afterwards, I let them settle for some time and they settle down. Now water is up, up and these elements come down. So we can take this, this water in a separate beaker and leave the sediments here. What is this? Yes, when we kept it for a while so that the sediments would come down and settle, this is called sedimentation. When we take out the water and pour it into another beaker, it is called distillation. Now, we will learn filtration. For example, I have the same solution. But, I have clay inside it. Clay. So, clay would mix with it. Now, I have a beaker to filter it. Water and clay. So water comes down into my container. Here comes water. And the sediments which were clay, which was clay, it remains up. Therefore, this is called filtration as we filter. Now, the next is boiling. For example, I have water and inside it, I have salt. Now, salt and water. How do we do? We will separate these by a process called boiling. First, we will boil this and the water evaporates. We can see the salt is there. But, if I want to take the water also separately, then I have to follow distillation. In distillation, we do the same. But the water which evaporates is condensed. We have cork up so that the water cannot steam as escape as steam. Now, this, 
this water vapor condenses and the water is collected in another beaker the same process thank you bye if you like please subscribe we will be taking many interesting videos have a nice day